Oh, there you are, folks. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, welcome to another episode of Louis Answers Your Questions. And today I'm answering questions to this video right here. And let's start the answering part because you've already done the questioning part. And we'll start with Fred Luce. Fred Luce has a two-part question. Uh, well, he, he, he asked a question and then I responded and he asked, uh, he said something else. So, Fred Luce, enjoy your time in Idaho. It looks awesome. And I think I said, thank you, Fred, something like that. And then Fred came back and he said, I have been following you since you did that van conversion in the Home Depot parking lot. Love your content. You drove by my house when you traveled through Spokane. I also have one of your stickers. Well, Fred, you should have waved. You should have waved out of your house. Why didn't you wave? Why didn't you say, hey, Louis, stop? I would have stopped. But nobody ever waves and says, stop. I like to... Of course, you don't, you don't know when I'm going through. Of course, I'm just joking. But, yeah, it's it's interesting that... You know, it's it's a big world, and then it, it ends up being a small world. It's it's a small world, because any place, at any moment, I cut somebody off, I go like this, and they go, Hey, aren't you Louie? You, you the, uh... I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you can't, you can't. I mean, sometimes I get upset at drivers and stuff, but... I can't do anything about it, uh, for the most part. <laughs> All right. Anyway, next uh, next question. Uh, we're gonna try to make this brief. I always say that, and then I keep rambling on. But we're gonna try to make it brief because I got stuff I need to do. I always need to do stuff. It's the story of my life. But I don't want to be sitting here the whole day. So, next question comes from Debbie Parker. What river is that in the first part of this video? Really beautiful country. Okay, so I I have okay I have the question. I I I, I took a screenshot. I'll put it right here. Of my answer, it's the uh, Taiton River, Tioton, Taiton River. I, I can't pronounce. It. I don't know how it's pronounced. Taiton, Tioton, Taiton, T T T T T. Tayaton, Tayatan, Tayatan, I don't know how it's pronounced. Runs alongside Route 12. So if you take Route 12 in Washington, uh, it runs more or less along Route 12 in certain areas, at least there where I camp. And anywhere that you have national forest, it doesn't have to be marked on some uh, app somewhere that it's a camping spot. Uh, I think I found that one just driving along Route 12, and and I saw, I saw that there. I'm like, I'm just gonna go in there and camp, you know. I think it was in 2020, the first time I camped there, and a lot of places, a lot of national forest, a lot of BLM developed campsites were closed. Everything was closed all over the place. But non-developed sites, and I guess those are considered not developed, they're open. Up, up, the, up the road from there, there's a lake, and by the lake you can camp there, but it was so closed because of uh, feelings and stuff. So, yeah, this year, um, this year, I I drove through there, and and it was it was there was no camping, so maybe. There was no camping to begin with, and um, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just there's no camping there, um, no overnight camping. So maybe that's what, what it is. So, yeah, lots of beautiful places. And if you go on, on any map, you see that, or you have a physical map or an app with a map, and you look National Forest BLM, as long as that's National Forest, you can just go in there and take the roads and look for a spot. That's open that you can you can park at. You know, it's that's what I do a lot of the times. All right, next question comes from Cheryl Meredith. 
I love it when you visit Jerry and also the next one from Pauline. Happy to see you spending time with Jerry and family. I know you two play pranks with each other, beautiful drone shots and scenery, have fun. Well, Meredith and, or Cheryl and Pauline, thank you. I, I love visiting Jerry. I personally do not play any pranks on Jerry. It's all Jerry's doing. He's the one who does the pranking. He puts ketchup, mustard, honey, all kinds of stuff on my door handles. Every time I come out of the van, I touch the door handle and my hands are like, I, I need I need to wash my hands for like two hours just to get the stuff off of it, off of my fingers. So, yeah, it's, it's all Jerry. Jerry is that type of person, you know. I I should, in reality, I should be saving all those condiments that he puts on my door. And I wouldn't have to buy anything for the next couple of years. I mean, I would be all set, really, with the amount of stuff that I can get from that, you know, from my door handles. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's all Jerry. I love visiting Jerry. Uh, it does do a lot of stuff on my van, and we have more stuff planned. But, you know, I, I... You know, I I'm like, yeah. I know Jerry's gonna see this. I'm I'm th I'm a little bit torn about. You know, I I don't know how to say it. You know, Jerry knows knows my heart, and he knows we are good friends. So whatever comes out of my mouth, he's not gonna be offended. He's a terrible mechanic. I have to put up with him. He's just terrible. I I'm just kidding, <laughs> Jerry. Jerry's an excellent mechanic. He's uh, he's not like I don't know if he's if you want to call it a trained professional, but I would rather I would rather pay Jerry double or triple of what I would pay any top-notch mechanic at any dealer or any other place. Jerry is that good. that he's got the capability to build, fabricate almost anything you want. So you probably could fabricate his own engine whatever engine he needs to fabricate. He probably he probably could do that. He's that good. What I mean to say is that I I like to work on my own stuff. I and and it, it's hard for me to let go at least the first time when I went to see Jerry. It was it's hard to let go and let somebody else work on it. It's always a pain for me to go to a mechanic if I have a problem that I don't know how to work on and let the mechanics take my van in the back and I can't see what they're doing. I always like, you know, I don't know what they're doing. Are they fixing this over here and breaking two other things over there? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. At least I lock all my doors and they can't come in here. But so I, I have to learn and I had to learn to let go and let Jerry do it. Uh, I, I offer to pay Jerry. He doesn't want to take any money. He doesn't want to take anything. I don't know what to do to the guy to make him take something. He won't do it. So it's really hard. It's really, it's really hard. <laughs> okay, maybe this, this isn't, did this call for crying? It didn't, right? No. Was that in the script? I didn't have a script. Okay, I didn't have a script. Sorry, folks. There was no script. They didn't call for crying. False alarm. But it's it's like it's hard to let somebody else do stuff to your stuff. But I, I did that the first time that I went to see Jerry in 2020, and and I you know I trust Jerry fully. I I can I can give him the keys and let him go at it, and I I trust him a hundred and one million percent. But it doesn't mean that it's easy to just. To just let somebody else do stuff to your van uh, or vehicle because I, I like to do it myself. I like to be hands-on. But the thing is with Jerry, he's got the knowledge. And if I try to do it, you know, when I go there, um, I, I can help. But if I try to do it, then I'm just going to be in a way and it's the job will take longer. He knows how to do it. He's got the know-how. He's got the tools. He's got everything. I mean, he's got the scars on his head to prove it. I mean, he's always banging his head on something, you know. So he, he knows how to do stuff. So it was hard to let go, but I, I, I let go, Jerry. I, you couldn't, 
You can do whatever you want on my van. You can rebuild me a whole new van if you want. <laughs> uh, did that work? Hold on. Let me see this one. No, that didn't work. Darn it. I should be doing a commercial. Then I can do... See? That worked. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I, I, I do wish that I could just go visit Jerry and have nothing... That nothing, nothing need done on the van or the motorcycle. It doesn't work on a motorcycle, but maybe, maybe you will in the future, Jerry. You know, you never know. You could work on my motorcycle too. Uh, anyway, yeah, I wish I could go there and not have to do anything. We could just, you know, enjoy um, whatever without having to do anything. But Jerry likes. I'm. Mean, this is this is long. This is going long. But sorry, but Jerry likes to do stuff. Jerry likes to tinker. He, even if there was nothing needed to be done, he would come up with something that needed to be done just so he could do it. That's how Jerry is. So let's move on to the next question. Uh, Entertain Me asks, in one of your questions with Louis, and this is the last question, could you tell us what the, what the, what's the funniest response comments from Pagey you have had in regards to one of your videos she's she's watched you know i i thought of asking paige that question i don't know if she read this but i thought of asking her so that i could get input from her i don't you know offhand i i i obviously i didn't ask her uh because i wanted to try to come up with the answer myself since you are asking me but i don't really you know, offhand, um, one of the funniest responses, comments. Um, she she likes the videos. She's 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 very shy in front of the camera. She doesn't like to be in front of the camera. She's little by little. She's getting used to it, and she's on a little bit more. But she doesn't like the camera. She doesn't like to be in front of the camera. She shies away from it. So I guess that's one of the things that she she has found funny that over this period of time that we've she's been traveling with me and been on camera, she has noticed that she's she has come a long way to from the beginning where if I took the camera or not not me of course I, I don't do that stuff but if Spielberger took the camera out. To start filming me, she would just take off. She would hide under a rock or something. <laughs> and and now Spielberger takes out the camera and she almost doesn't blink. She just goes, "How's my hair?" 